Welcome to our Django development tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with the Django filter package. Our viewer is looking to enhance their list view by adding pagination to a filtered query set. Let's dive into the details of their challenge and explore how to effectively implement pagination alongside filtering. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To add pagination to your filtered query set using Django Filter, we first need to ensure that we are applying the filter before we paginate the results. In your views.py, Start by creating the filter instance using the request data. This will allow you to filter the query set based on user input. Next, we will apply the filter to the query set before passing it to the paginator. This ensures that we are paginating the filtered results. Finally, we handle pagination by retrieving the current page from the request and rendering the filtered and paginated results to the template. Now, return the context to your template, including both the filter and the paginated publications. This will allow your users to see the filtered results with pagination. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement pagination in Django with a cleaner solution, you can use template tags. This method simplifies handling query string parameters. The function constructs a URL with the specified field name and value and it can also filter out existing parameters from the query string. In your template, you can easily create links for pagination using this custom tag. Just call it with the current page number and the request's query string. For more details, you can check the source linked in the description. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To implement pagination with Django Filter, it's crucial to construct your URLs correctly in the template. When using pagination, ensure that the query string retains existing filter parameters while adding the page number. When navigating through pages, check if filter fields are present in the query string. If they are, append the new page number without repeating ex eating existing parameters. Here's a code snippet for pagination in your template. It checks for existing filters and constructs the correct URL for previous and next page links. In your view, use the Paginator class to manage the filtered query set and handle page requests appropriately. This ensures users see the correct results. This approach allows for seamless pagination while maintaining filter states, enhancing user experience.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To remember filter and query URL parameters in Django with pagination, you can pass the current URL parameters as a context variable. This is done in the view by copying the request's get parameters and removing the page parameter. In your template, you can then use these parameters to create pagination links. For example, when generating a link to the next page, include the current parameters. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, the user demonstrates how to implement pagination with Django filter. They start by defining a search function in views.py that filters products based on various criteria. The HTML part includes a pagination structure that checks for previous and next pages. It dynamically generates page links based on the current page number. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To paginate your filtered query set in Django, you can use the Paginator class. First, create a filter object with your query set, then pass the filtered query set to the Paginator. In the example, we filter the local URL objects and create a publication filter. We then set up pagination to display 25 items per page. Finally, we retrieve the current page and handle any potential errors, ensuring that we always return a valid page of results. Remember, urlfilter.qs contains the filtered results, while urlfilter.querySet holds the original unfiltered query set. And that's it, guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please just shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.